One of the great things we have the ability to try and do is plan. Uh, planning our calendars, making sure that we do have that time with our family, making sure that the next steps and goals that our businesses have is achieved. You know, it's one thing to have an idea. It's another thing to plan. Making a plan about what you need to get to where you're going. If you don't plan, if you fail that, you actually plan to fail. I've heard that saying before. And I want you to know that not everyone's good at planning and putting a, a strategic proposal together, but find someone who you can even share your vision to. Maybe it's a personal planning of, of the next five years, the dreams and goals, the things you haven't done yet. If you never put it in your calendar and you never plan to do it, then when are you going to do it? It's up to you. That's how you achieve. That is the power of planning. One of the great things we have the ability to try and do is plan. Uh, planning our calendars, making sure that we do have that time with our family, making sure that the next steps and goals that our businesses have is achieved. You know, it's one thing to have an idea. It's another thing to plan. Making a plan about what you need to get to where you're going. If you don't plan, if you fail that, you actually plan to fail. I've heard that saying before. And I want you to know that not everyone's good at planning and putting a, a strategic proposal together, but find someone who you can even share your vision to. Maybe it's a personal planning of, of the next five years, the dreams and goals, the things you haven't done yet. If you never put it in your calendar and you never plan to do it, then when are you going to do it? It's up to you. That's how you achieve. That is the power of planning. Aesop's Fables The Ant and the Grasshopper There once was a grasshopper who liked to play with his flute. Then one day he met a large group of ants, all of them carrying loot. What are you doing? asked the grasshopper, wanting to know. We are gathering food for the winter, they replied, before it starts to snow. But the grasshopper played with his flute without a single care. while the ants had to carry apples and peaches, and even a pear. Then the grasshopper saw a berry and took it in one go. That made the ant angry, but then it started to snow. The ant took the berry back and quickly ran away.
grasshopper took his flute and continued to play. Then a blizzard came around, and the grasshopper had nothing to eat. So he went to the ant's home, hoping to meet. He looked through their window, and what did he see? He saw ants laughing and eating and all full of glee. So he knocked on the door and it opened to show the ant he met earlier, now wondering what the grasshopper was here for. Can I have some food? asked the grasshopper, hoping for a bite. You did no work, said the ant, so nothing for you, and it serves you right. So the grasshopper walked away with nowhere to go. But he learned his lesson next summer and was now in the know. Today he helps with the work and has made amends. spends winter with the ants, his newfound friends. Hi, good afternoon, and a very warm welcome to all the educators who have connected with us today. Very good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. So a lot of teachers are still joining. We'll wait for another three to four minutes, and then we'll begin with the session. Yeah, meanwhile, I'll play some videos. Anybody who saw the grasshopper video full, right from the beginning to the end? Anyone, you can raise your hand. Anyone who saw the grasshopper video full? Okay. Uh, Ma'am, uh, what did we understand? Why Why do you think I played that video today? It was a story. Prior preparation is a must. Prior preparation is a must. Planning is important. So today we are talking of lesson plan. Yes. Planning is very, it's key to the key to success. When you are, uh, you may be a teacher, you may be a, you know, homemaker. And for women who are working, both the situations you're handling, it's very important for us to plan everything, to think before, to sit down, take some time and sit and write and, you know, plan the entire things that we have to do, maybe at the home front or the office front or at the school. If you don't do that, it's easy said that name just about them, just of the But at the end, you will miss out on smaller details. So that is what we'll be discussing today. When we uh, talk about lesson planning, especially keeping the early childhood care and education in mind. So last time with Smriti, ma'am, we talked about curriculum planning and 
today we'll be talking about lesson plan. I'm just getting everybody admitted. I'll request everyone to please make sure that your cameras are on and your mics are on mute. And uh, if you have any questions, yes, Chiragi, ma'am. Want to add something? Okay. So there are a couple of people who don't who have not joined via audio. If you could please turn on your mics. Let's see a lot of people are not corrected. Any one of them is your one of your colleagues or your friends. Could you please help them out? People who have not connected. Who cannot hear me at this point? If anybody tells you they cannot hear me. You're audible, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There are few people who are not uh, connected, have not connected their audios. I just want to help them out. Happy evening, ma'am. Great. Okay. Today, we will also wait for some time after the session. I'll stay online to help you fill up your feedback forms so that all of you can get your uh, certificates. So, that, so for all the teachers who have ever faced any problem getting their certificates, I would best to stay back after the session for 5-10 minutes. I'll be there and I'll help you. I'll help all of you with the certification spelling. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, yes, somebody's raised their hand. I'm sorry. Hey, hi, ma'am. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Mani. I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. So I was kind of setting the context with them on planning. Okay. So what do they know? What do they know about planning? They just watched a short animated uh, story of the ant and the grasshopper for that. Ah, nice, nice. That's good. All right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the planning session. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. 
Okay. How many of you have attended the previous session of the curriculum planning? Let's quickly raise your hand or just say yes on the. Yes, come quickly, icons. quickly. Ah, there are two hands up. I saw most of them, ma'am. A lot of chat messages. Okay, a lot of chat messages. Most of them have. Yes. All right. So from the curriculum planning today, we go to the lesson planning, right? Okay. So first and foremost, I want. To, are you all ready with your paper and pen? Because that was a prerequisite for the yes. workshop. Yeah. All right. So I'll give you a abbreviation. Just quickly write whatever you think of it. Okay. The so abbreviation is V U C A. Whatever you comes to your mind. No rights or wrongs. V U C A. Anybody who has a full form of this VUCA can put it on the chat. Anyone? Uh, so, uh, people, let's put it on the chat box. And I want to also mute everyone for now. So that uh, lesser, we have a full house today. So, Smriti ma'am, can you unmute yourself, please? All right. Yes. Anybody has heard of the term, the WUKA uh, word? No, ma'am. No, there's no responses for that. There are no responses. Okay. So, nobody knows about the WUKA word, right? So, what is V-U-C-A? That's the new terminology for the world that we are living in right now. It's a WUKA world. What is it? V is for volatile. Okay. U is for uncertain. C is for complex and A is for ambiguous. You can take that down. In case you do not know about it, you can research on it, you can put it up. You can also write down the full form. B, U, C, A is volatile, uncertain, complex, and also ambiguous. Food just gave me the answer. Just yeah, if you don't know the answer, please, you can look for it. That means the world that we are living in right now is very uncertain and we have to prepare our children for this uncertain world, right? So that is why planning, when you do planning of the curriculum or of the lessons, it is very important to keep this in mind that what are you preparing the children for? You're preparing them for the VUCA world. That tomorrow, what's going to happen, they are not certain about it. When we were kids, our parents were very sure of the world that we are going to live in. And that is why they used to prepare us, or the schools used to prepare us with an education system that has a stability, that was steady, and we knew what we are getting into. So that is why when we used to talk about engineering, medical, accountancy, started accountancy, and all of that, we knew what we are doing. But today, do you think it's the same thing But today's children? Do you actually believe that they are going to be taking up any of these professions? No, no, no. A lot of no's in the chat. A lot of no's, yeah, they're not. Because it's a very uncertain world. And uh, we really don't know what's in store for them. So that is why it's very important to plan accordingly. The education system with that existed 50 years back and what we studied in actually does not hold true today. So we say... Let's see for the today's session. Okay. So today's session says, let's plan a lesson. Okay. Where did it go? There. Okay. Let's plan a lesson. And the first question to all of you. Come on. Are a chat box you have to use a lot in my sessions. There's no escaping. I can't keep it passive. It has to be interactive. So why plan? Come on. I am on the chat box for your answers. Why do you think plan? Why plan? So today's session is was like less plan a lesson. For but like my answer perfect is work, perfect work, for better output, prepare to be perfect in order to stay organized for execution, to save time, to be prominent, uh, to be prepare ourselves, smooth execution, clarity. Oh my God, there are, I, I can't read so many. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So we know why plan. Okay. To be organized, to be prepared. So you gave the answers. So let's go to the next one and see. Okay. What to plan? Next question. What to plan? Now let's think of the next one. Everything. Everything. Schedule. What to do. Content delivery. General outline of teaching goals. Aims and methods. Plans. For activity, everything, how to execute, objective, topic. Okay. The next question, how to plan? How to plan? How, how, hold on for this answer, how to plan? Okay. So now you know why to plan. You give the answers. You say what to plan. You give the answers. Now the next question is how to plan? Logically, creatively, various resources, uh -huh. easy to from easy to complex, okay. with experiments, informative, innovative, time-bound. Are, wow, we have a very world audience today. Participants yes. really know everything. Chalo, fir bye, see you, huh? No, no need for the <laughs> session. <laughs> you people know everything. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go to this. How do you know it is a good plan? How would you know that it is a good plan? So you've decided, okay? With results you know. by execution. Hmm. By response, when we succeed through outcomes, through learning outcomes, micro teaching, maximum okay. results, responses, output, around that answers. Okay, fine. So, and another question. So, would you like your class to be chaotic or mismanaged and mismanaged or well managed and prepared? B. Of course. B, 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 B. B, B, B. B, B. We know the answer. B. It would be B, right? Okay, good. That means we all agree on the same thing. Hmm. Huh. That it should be organized, it should be well planned, and everybody has the same opinion. Okay, then let's see. How many developmental domains are there? Come on, quickly. Three, four, five. Three, five, seven. Three, seven, five, seven, 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 three, 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 seven, three and seven, I think majority. Majority are three and seven. Hmm. Three, those who have written three and seven, can you name them? Um, Rupika Tandar, Manorama, uh, Manorama Singh, and uh, Read Me Note Seven, <laughs> Asha Singh, Astha Sharma, Jyoti Nanez, Meena okay. Chauhan. Fine, Alman. fine, fine. Good, good. Thanks, Imani. Now, all those who have written seven, name the seven. Hmm. Name the seven domains. Those who have written seven, name the seven domains. They've uh, kind of name put some, uh, okay. There's, there's one answer. Emotional, logical, cognitive, social, gross motor, fine motor. Gross motor and fine motor are separate domains. Physical, cognitive, intellectual, aesthetic, and social. Yeah. Okay. Communication, personal, social, creative, physical, mathematical, understanding of the world and literacy. Ah, uh, okay. Take care. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. So let me see if you can name them. What, what domain would this be? Name the picture, the picture, the picture. Cognitive, cognitive. 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 Okay. What is this one? Cognitive plus? Emotional. Emotional, very good. Emotional development. Okay, cognitive development, emotional development. This one? Along with emotional? Physical. 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 Very good. This one? Yeah, <laughs> This is <laughs> too much. What is this? Intellectual, language, logical. Logical, okay, if you never take that, this is called something called approaches to learning. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. This one? Communication, social communication. Communication and language, okay. This one? No idea. The brain has gone inside the bulb. Thinking. Execution. Critical thinking. The critical thinking comes under approaches to learning. 
ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವಿಟಿ ರೈಟ್ creativity is not only in art and craft creativity is in everything that we do the way we think the way we solve our problems so that's creative and aesthetic development so these are the six domains right these are the six major developmental domains universally through research okay under these there are many many sub domains or learning areas or there are many many skills and concepts around which we have to plan these are the ones so cognitive under the cognitive development now see whatever you were people were writing just check on yourself cognitive under the cognitive development you have math science problem solving critical self solve uh, critical thinking experimentation scientific logical thinking all comes under cognitive that means my intelligence level if my cognitive development is well developed i can think intelligently then i can do all of these then language development has two parts communication and language okay and the strands are lsrw you know the full form of lsrw anyone who can write that lsrw listening yes listening then speaking speaking reading and writing reading and writing very good so that means that is what are the components of Uh, language development then we come to what physical development in physical development we have gross motor we have fine motor and we have something those are neglected in an indian context of curriculum which are sensory motor it's called and health and self care so physical development is a larger umbrella under which we have all these five but usually we only say gross motor and fine motor which is just half of the physical development okay there are two more skills that have come into the place now which people have tried to uh, give importance to one is called proprioceptive and the other is the vestibular sense okay proprioceptive and vestibular are the ones which actually gives a spatial understanding to the child and it gives them a sense of balance how does a child walk around and not actually run into any of the furniture or any of the things that are kept in the room and how do they balance themselves when there is little space how do they navigate that space and come out those are the skills which are proprioceptive and vestibular right then we have creative and aesthetic development which is consisting of visual arts okay that is all your art and craft performing arts that is all your dance singing musical instruments then we have art appreciation which again is something that is always neglected why do we have to do art appreciation in with such young children do they even understand it yes they do and you have to give them that opportunity so what if you show them a good painting or if uh, not even a good one suppose somebody all the, the entire class is doing a art, art and craft activity and you put it up on the board then after the putting up on the board all the teachers forget about it kyunki wo to parents ke liye hai aur coordinator ke liye hai to see whether you know we have done that activity no if you put it up on the board then ask your children to actually define it appreciate their peers work so it's art appreciation starts at early in life then we have approaches to learning under approaches to learning we will have productivity initiative curiosity persistence and resilience now these are very very important and why are they called approaches to learning they called approaches to learning because due because of all of these that you see there the children actually take interest in learning they participate in their own learning are they productive are they taking initiative how well are they curious about what you're teaching are they persistently doing an activity and do they have a resilience factor that if they fail in something then they again try it and they try it and they have a growth mindset that they have to get it right so these are all approaches to learning if the approaches to learning are developed well children would always be learning and they would be enjoying learning if approaches to learning is not correct then they don't enjoy learning then again it becomes very passive then lastly it is personal social emotional development 
So you can see by the term of it, personal, that means my self-awareness, my self-emotional management, my self-regulation, uh, social means making and managing relationships. How do I make friends? How do I manage my relationships? I am a good to my friends, my teachers, my parents, people around me. Then comes responsibility and leadership. Now, these are the two factors which is again missing from an Indian context that we do not give children responsibility and we do not hold them responsible for their actions or for their work because we think they are very small. It's not right. Right from a very young age, the children know about responsibility. They know the right from the wrong. But we have to develop that sense in them. What about leadership? There would be some children who would be taking initiative and taking a leadership position very naturally. Others have to actually cultivate it within themselves. But how are we going to help them? Through all the activities that we are planning right now in our lessons, in the curriculum. So these are the six major developmental domains and you can see what all falls under each domain. So it's very, very important. Anything that you find is not important here. But anyone who has any questions right now? You can just raise your hand, I'll unmute, or you put the question in the chat box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yes, you put yes. the question in the chat box, or you can just raise your hand, and Imani is going to unmute you, and you can ask also. Anything that you were doing differently, or you want to know about it, All right. I, I think, ma'am, it's good to go. I've got a couple of thumbs ups. Thumbs ups. Okay. okay. Understood and good to go. Yes. And do you all agree to this? Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it and get back. Any a, lot of, a lot of yeses and thumbs ups. <laughs> all right. You all agree. Tell her good enough. Then I can actually go ahead. Now, coming from those six developmental domains that we know universally, and we've always been knowing it, and most of it came from the Western philosophers. We come to today's world of NCF 2022. If anybody knows about that document or have read that document, please put a yes or put a hands up. How I many of you've read NCF or you've partially read it? It's okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's a long, very big document. If you partially read document. it, also you know about it, it's very good for me. Yes, yes. yes. A lot of yeses. A lot of yeses. Are wow. I told you, Himani, today is a very evolved audience. Very good audience. Very, 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 very good. good. Yeah. So again, so I leave. Bye. See you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So have you heard about the Panchakoshas? Yes. No. Do you yes, know yes. about the Panchakoshas? Yes yes, yes. 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 Do you understand Panchakoshas? Mama, some of them have said no. All right. Very good. I like that. Honesty is the best policy. Mm -hmm. Now, also, those who know it and those who do not know it, any of you can answer very honestly, do you understand Panchakoshas? Knows, only knows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so, because it's mm -hmm. not easy. Why we don't know? Because we have not been educated about it and we have not been told about it anytime. We do not discuss it. So we don't know. It's very easy. It's very, very simple. So it's not like that. I will agree that, yeah, yeah, I knew all about it. I also didn't know about it. I started in, uh, re read the NCF, researched on it, and then I came to know. So we do not know about the Panchakoshas, but it was the ancient education system of India, which already had these developmental domains in place. So we are going to today just talk about it in a bit because not too much, because we are doing lesson planning. Na? Ye Panchakoshas na se hai. Because see, if you do not know the developmental domains, what are we planning our lessons on? So that's why it's very important. So six developmental domains, and then we come to the five Panchakoshas. Are these six developmental domains, five kaise ho gai? Uh, One has the two domains included. One of the Panchakoshas, one, one Kosha has two developmental domains in it. Do you know which one? Anandamaya. Anandamaya. Okay. Anyone else who has any other option or opinion? The third one. <laughs> the third one. What difficult to pronounce. Karna. Okay. Third. Kaha se third? Anandamaya. Anandamaya. This is Anandamaya. 
ओके मनोमाया अनो आनंद माया अनन अन्न समरी सर अन्न माया अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस है मनोमाया आनंद माया और मनोमाया इन इन योर दिस टू हैज टू डेवलपमेंटल डोमेन्स व्हिच वंस आर यू सेइंग इट ना आई थिंक आनंद माया ओके व्हिच व्हिच टू डेवलपमेंटल डोमेन्स आर देन एम्बेडेड इन दिस इन दिस कोशा I don't let go easily, ha? Huh? अच्छा नहीं तो बहुत आंसर चाहिए तो मेरा हो गया मेरे को तो बहुत आंसर चाहिए होते हैं भाई lot of answers I need. And now you said that two are in one kosha. Which kosha is there? Ananda Maya or Mano Maya? Then which two developmental domains are there? Emotional, ha? Huh? Uh, and thinking. Uh, बहुत मुश्किल है ये देखो नाउ सी द पंच कोशास इज द फाइव फोल्ड डेवलपमेंट ओके दे टॉक अबाउट द होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट एंड इट्स नॉट अ वेस्टर्न कॉन्सेप्ट राइट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू दे टॉक अबाउट लेयर्स इन अ ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑफ हाउ वी आर टेकिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ आर वी लर्निंग हाउ आर वी डेवलपिंग these are the things the five layers now in this five layers what are the five layers like we show you showed you earlier this is anan anna maya anna maya anna maya is the outermost that's a physical layer then it is a prana maya that means the life force energy layer then is mano maya that is the mind ab man se hum to sochte hain man that means social emotional ye bol rahe hain mind big discrepancy so manomaya is the mind layer okay then is vijnanmaya that's the intellectual layer that means cognitive development then is the anandamaya now anandamaya is the inner self abhi tak pata nahi chala ki which are the two developmental domains which are in one kosha did you get to know no any guesses oh very difficult let's go ahead so that is why see we don't understand the kosha they very difficult to understand but till now have you understood what i have told you abhi tak pata chala any um, questions yes yes no maybe ha huh? teachers i'm waiting for some yeses little somebody says little 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 okay let's do it in मेनी मेनी लिटिल लिटिल को मेनी मेनी करते हैं ठीक है हाउ डू वी डू दैट यो नेक्स्ट लाइक बहुत सारा टेक्स्ट है पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है डोंट डोंट स्ट्रेस योर सेल्फ ओके सिंपली पुट अनामया कोश द फिजिकल लेयर इज एक्चुअली द शारीरिक विकास इन हिंदी इट इज कॉल्ड दैट मीन्स फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ योर फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट योर फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी स्ट्रेंथ एंड everything for healthy living like i showed you in physical development remember the five things that i showed you gross motor fine motor health well being and sensory motor so all of those proprioceptive and vestibular also because here also they are talking about endurance strength flexibility and also talking about nutrition hygiene and all so it is all related to the body right the next is the pranamaya kosha which they called the life force energy that is the pranic vikas in hindi now what is pranic that is balance and retention retention of energy enthusiasm smooth functioning of all major systems inside your body that is the nervous system and everything now is this any developmental domain yes no i showed you six developmental domains no is it a part of any of those developmental domains yes preeti ma'am says yes which one सो समझ के यस नो बोलना आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क फॉर द क्वेश्चंस इज समबडी सेज फिजिकल फिजिकल वी ऑलरेडी रीड अनामया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट प्राणमया कॉग्निटिव कॉग्निटिव इज विजनमया साइकोमोटर साइकोमोटर ओके एंड एनी अदर आंसर्स वी हैव एवरीबॉडी इज ट्राइंग टू गेट समथिंग <laughs> no it is not a part of the developmental domains that we know in the west because this is something that is your inner self kind of a thing 
it is your body functioning from within. So when rightly said, physical development, the sharirik vikas that we talked about, this is the pran. We believe in the system of that the outer body is basically an outer cover. The soul resides inside the body. The pran is inside the body, which is a smooth functioning of all your major systems. The digestive, respiratory, your heart, your liver, lungs. You know, everything is working day and night. And this is about that. This is about all about that. Then we come to Manomaya Kosha, that is the mind layer. In the mind, what are they, what do we have? Because of the mind only we feel or see things, we understand things, right? So here are your two different koshas. Which are those? Now tell me, even if you're reading it from the slide, tell me. Manasik Vikas, that is the development of brain. So which two? Developmental domains do you see here? Mental and emotional. Cognitive and emotional. Cognitive. Emotional and mental. Yes, emotional and mental is written here. Now mental is? Cognitive. Mental hona nahi hai, huh? That's cognitive. Okay. So emotional and mental development is the mansik vikas because of the brain. We feel, we emote, we understand things. So everything is here. So this is one which has two. Now, this has two. Pranmaya is not a developmental domain. So, we left with only four now. Anamaya, Manomaya, Vijnamaya, and Anandamaya. Now, what do we do? Abhi to six se four ho gai. Pehle five the. So, that means another one has two. Do you think another, there is another kosha which has two developmental domains? Anandamaya. Anandamaya has. No, yes. it is Vijna Maya which is has. Vijna Maya is the one which has two. It's the intellectual layer. They are saying Bodhik Vikas. Emotional development, Manomaya Kosha is the social emotional development, but it also has your Mansik Vikas, which is the development of brain, but development of intelligence, the cognitive development, the intellectual development is the Bodhik Vikas. Okay, which is in Vijnan Maya Kosha. And this Kosha consists of two more things, which is one is the creative and aesthetic development and another is the cognitive development. Okay, is it making any sense to you? I can repeat it. It is difficult, I know. It is confusing, I know. But if it's not making sense to you, there's no point in going forward. You can ask me again. Yes, not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Is it more simplified? Please go slow a bit. Okay. Very Ask slow. Me. I'll go slow. So, Anna Maya Kosha and Pran Maya Kosha are interrelated for the physical development of the outer body and the inner body. Just we do the external body, uh, names of the external body parts. And then there's internal body parts, right? If these two are interrelated for outer body and inner body. Then when we come to Manomaya Kosha, it is the development of your social, emotional, personal, uh, developmental domain. Okay? Right? So Anamaya and Pranamaya are interrelated. They're not two separate domains. They're Koshas. They're not talking about developmental domains. They're talking about the Koshas. Right? Then Manomaya Kosha is the personal, emotional and social development. Then when we come to Vijnan Maya Kosha, that is your intellectual layer. Now that layer is a combination of two developmental domains, cognitive and creative. Okay. So all the cognitive abilities, the cognitive developmental domain and the creative and aesthetic developmental domain are merged into Vijnanmaya Kosha. Okay, that is the Bodhik Vikas, that means intellectual development. Now, in that intelligence development only, they say whether it is math, whether it is science, whether it is language, whether it is your ability to create something, and your imagination, everything will depend on this kosha of your body. 
All right. This was better. Better. Much. Bolo better, better, better. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So till here now is clear. Now we come to the last one, which is the Anand Maya Kosha. Now Anand Maya Kosha is nothing to do with your uh developmental domain. Is that right or is that wrong? Is it a developmental domain? Yes or no? Is it linked to any developmental domain or no? Since yes. Do say right. Yes. Yes, it is. Why? Because like Anamaya and Pranamaya Kosha are interlinked for physical development, Manomaya and Anandamaya are interlinked for your inner self development of personal, social and emotional development. So your happiness, your sadness, your anger, your frustration, or your calmness, or your you know journey towards the insult when you are doing meditation, when you're doing yoga, all that depend on this. Okay, understood? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Cool? Have, the, of have the koshas become a little better? Yes. Yeah. They are too scary. 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 They are not booth. They are okay. All right. Hmm. So then we go to NCF. Ka, there are five key goals for your curriculum development and lesson planning. What are those? Those are based on your these five koshas only. That is development of academic, emotional, physical, and emotion uh, and emotional aspect. It's a link. Yeah, galat hai. Academic, emotional, and physical development. When we say these are the one first course, the second is help students develop what intellectual quotient by providing them a lot of opportunities. That is cognitive development again. Create a curriculum that promotes quality teaching and learning process both ways. The quality should be in teaching also. And it should give good enriching experience, learning experiences to the learners. Then the fourth goal is to foster creative thinking skills by facilitating different activities. Now, one of the major things in NEP and NCF are that they are emphasizing a lot on diversity of activities. That there's not just one way that you can teach or there's not just one way that all your children would learn. So there has to be a diversity and there have to be diverse activities for doing this. The last fifth goal is to provide students with the liberty to express individual thoughts. That means to enable them, to give them opportunities to create a space where they can me, express themselves and they can converse, talk, share their thoughts. So, what are the five may what are the major components of a teaching plan as per NCF? These are the major components of a teaching plan. What we're talking about lesson plans. So these are the components. First is competencies. Anyone who can tell me what are competencies? What are competencies? There are three things. Competencies, learning outcomes, and intended lesson objectives. Now, lesson objectives and learning outcomes, you might be knowing about it. What are competencies? Creative have competition, creativity, ability, as per content, skills. Okay, skills it is. Skills. I was looking for the answers of skills. skills. Competencies are basically skills. Okay. So the major component of your teaching plan should be that you should have the skills defined. According to those skills, you should have learning outcomes defined. According to the learning outcomes, you should have intended lesson objectives defined that what do you want to achieve through this lesson. So if you're planning a lesson, you have to have that intention of what do you want to achieve from this. Full lesson plan result So it doesn't make any difference. None of the lesson plans can have this kind of a attitude that it is okay, we are just doing an activity. No, there has to be a learning outcome. 
There has to be a competency developed. There has to be a lesson objective of what you want to achieve out of it, okay? Then your teaching plan should have what? Both teacher directed. Teacher directed means that the teacher is giving out information. She's teaching. The facilitator, the teacher is teaching. Teacher guided. The teacher is a guide. In supporting and learning. In supporting and learning. Very good, Man. Thank you. And child-led activities, which the child is going to be the main focus. They are doing the activity and you are only guiding and navigating them to the correct objective. But basically, you're not telling them or showing them what to do. It's not like I am telling and teaching and you are learning. It's not like that. It's both of us are learning together. What if we do this? What if I put this block on this? Will it fall? It will not fall. These are the kind of things that you have to do in the activities. Child will do and learn. Achha, if I put a very big block on a small one, it doesn't balance. Let me put the uh, bigger one below and let me put the smaller one on the top. How did they learn this? By doing it, right? So this is child-led activities. So all these three should be there for you to achieve your objective, which you had said, set in point A. You have set some learning objectives and learning outcomes and competencies to achieve that. Your lesson plan should have all these factors. There should be some teaching, there should be some guidance, and there should be some hands-on. Now, each lesson plan should have that, huh? Asa nahi hamare curriculum mein hota hai. In one year, six months we teach. Then three months we are doing something. No, it should be in each lesson plan. Then you have to also define your duration and sequence of activities. So if you define your duration of 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes or 40 minutes, whatever the duration you have decided for your one lesson plan, one session, you should be deciding on that. And then after deciding that, you have to decide the sequence of your activities. In those 30 minutes, what are you going to do stepwise? Is there going to be an introduction? Is there going to be a warm-up? If there's going to be teaching, is there going to be a recap? Is there going to be a worksheet? Is there going to be hands-on activity? There's going to be a game. There's going to be a rhyme. There's going to be a story. What is going to happen in those 40 minutes? And in what sequence? In a logical sequence, it should happen. Okay. Then you have to decide on the content and material to be used in this activities. So you decided on the activities, you decided on the sequence of the activities, then what do you have to decide? Then you have to decide ki how do, would you do that activity? What will you need to do that activity? So suppose you're giving a freehand drawing, you'll need papers, you'll need crayons, you'll need pencils. Those are the kind of material that you have to list down along with the content. Ki what is the activity? You explain it. What do you need to do this is side by side, goes hand in hand. Then you have to see what kind of classroom arrangement will be the best for executing this lesson plan. So what will be the seating arrangement? Was it a group seating? Are the children sitting on the mat? Are they sitting with a low table in front of them? Paper kept over that. How is the arrangement? What are the displays that you're going to have in the class? And then specific strategies for children who need extra help. Now, this one part is very, very essential in every lesson planning that we do, right? Till now, what I have seen in schools and I have interacted with hundreds of teachers, what I have seen is that we have a lesson plan in place, but just that is just one lesson plan that we have in place for all the children across divisions in a particular grade. It doesn't work like that. There would be some children who would do it quickly. Some would need more help. Some would learn differently. So then what are you doing about it? Giving them one lesson plan and say, Aise seekna hai to seekho, nahi to hame kuch pata hai. You can't do that to the children that are coming to your class, right? So then you should have some specific strategies for children who need extra help and children who would learn differently. This is again, according to the NCF, this is the pedagogy, the teaching methodology that you have to follow. What? That's called panchari. How that was called koshas, panchakoshas. This is panchari. That means five steps. Anyone who's heard of this? Again, yes, no, maybe. No. Mostly knows, Himani? Mostly knows. 
Okay. A couple of few yeses, one or two, but mostly noes. Okay. You've not heard of this. So, Panchakoshas, because we have parts and parcels make document and we have to do it. And we have to expansion of that, teaching other people. Fifth step. जो हमें समझ में आया या नहीं समझ में आया हमें बड़ा यूनिक लगा हा हा पंच कोशाश अभी बताते हैं ये क्या होता है टाइप्स में हां दिस इज समथिंग यूनिक दिस इज समथिंग न्यू दैट हैज कम इन एनसीएफ इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट एज अ होल आफ्टर द पंच कोशाश व्हाट यू हैव टू डेवलप व्हाट कॉम्पिटेंसीज एंड स्किल्स यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ कम्स द हाउ टू डू या वी नो ना वी शुड नो हाउ टू डू इट आल्सो दिस इज द टीचिंग प्रोसीजर दिस इज द पेडागॉजी दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो now when you talk about this this is very very easy what is aditi aditi is when you are beginning something and you are introducing something it's the first stage to teaching you are coming with a new concept in mind what will you do you will first introduce it to the children right an introduction has to be how it has to be an open ended introduction that you first come to know what the children already know about it so if i tell you if i give you a just a hint okay have you ever been to to a jungle safari or have you ever been to a zoo if i ask you this as a teacher and you all are children in the class and if i ask you okay have you ever been to a jungle safari or have you been to a zoo what will you think what kind of a concept am i going to do with you mm have to forest forest okay animals interact with animals animals forest about zoology talking yeah. about animals 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 yeah so how did you come to know about that if you ask a child also that they will understand right they will talk about if they have been there if they've not been there if you talk about animals that is how you should introduce it with the open ended thing and see what your children know so so many children would already know a certain information about animals right then we have to take them ahead from there so introduction aditi that's the first thing what's the second thing the second step is both that is conceptual understanding of what you want them to learn got it so the conceptual understanding of what you want them to learn is your lesson plan main text of teaching then is abhyas that is practice you'll give them worksheets and all na you'll give them homework class work to practice what they have learned then is the prayog the application that means in real life where are they applying it so there has to be a real world connection to the concepts and whatever the subjects we are teaching because if they can't apply it in real life it doesn't make sense to them isn't that the problem that we all had in our learning systems and education system ki kyu padhaya tha humko alpha beta pata nahi kyu padhaya tha hame chemical formulas pata nahi so the thing is in until and unless we apply it those information that knowledge in our real life we really do not understand it so that's very important and the th fifth part is prasar now prasar according to expansion is something that is peer tutoring and also sharing your knowledge with other people aren't we all doing that right now whatever i know i am talking to you whatever you know you're putting in the chat box imani knows something she isn't so we are sharing knowledge उससे क्या होगा आर नॉलेज इज गेटिंग एक्सपैंडेड वी आर पुटिंग इट अ क्रॉस एंड दैट विल गिव अस मोर नॉलेज या सो दीज आर द फाइव स्टेप्स द पंचाड़ी अकॉर्डिंग टू एनसीएफ वी शुड बी इन योर टीचिंग मेथडोलॉजी गॉट इट यस नाउ द प्लान दिस आई हैड व्हाई आई हैड आस्क यू पीपल दैट हैव यू अटेंडेड माय करिकुलम वाला प्लान वर्कशॉप that i have taught that uh, i've talked about this there also what the plan how do you plan you start with the year plan okay for all all age groups that are there in your school then you break it down into monthly plans then you play, break it down into weekly plans daily plans in a particular day of 3 hours or 4 hours of 6 hours or 8 hours of school what are you going to do with the children okay how is it going to be planned for the entire day and then you come to the lesson plans that is very specific for each subject area and each concept and each skill that you have decided to do so what is the process so i'll go through this very quickly i went through this in my last session also learning progression is your first step that you're going to do what is learning and what is progression how a child will learn what would they learn at a particular age and how are you going to progress it forward your basic 
Bible, Gita, Quran for that would be the milestones, the universal milestones. You go back to that, from there it begins. And then comes the learning areas. That, okay, these are the milestones that a child achieves at a particular age. And then according to that, you segregate into them into learning areas. Then you so in the learning areas, you define which are going to be your skills and your concepts under each learning area, right? Now you've defined the skills and concepts. You have the subject area. You know, this subject area can under me. These 25 skills can I? Now you 25 skills can I? Un 25 skills ke har skill ka what will be the learning outcome for the learner? Okay, you define those in proper logical sentences. Define it, and you don't define it only for one age group. You define it across age group, right? And then according what will uh, like we had already discussed this, okay, for the learning outcomes, how will you achieve it? Through your activities and practices. Then you define those. Activities and practices defined. Okay, learning outcomes, pata hai kya karna. Skill concept, malume. Now what to do? How to do. How to do is the pedagogy. Panchari. Introduction. Remember? Bhool gai. Aditi. Bodh. Then what was there? Abhyas. Bhool gai. Prasar. Ah, pehle application hai. Prayog. Phir prasar. Okay? So, <laughs> apply it and then teach. Okay. So, that is how pedagogy. And after the pedagogy, how do you know that your lesson plan is successful? Through me, you people had answered me. Through evaluation. How do we evaluate? Through assessment and observation indicators. Especially in early childhood educators, there's only observations. Those observation parameters have to be defined. They have to be linked to your learning outcome. So, if I say... My child can actually color within the outline. My assessment parameter was, will be, can color within the outline. Yes or no, then I have to write that. And I have to observe the child to find that out. Right? This is how your planning gets completed. Then you also have your evaluation in place. Learners learn the best. This is for all age groups. Starting from the early childhood till the high school. If the children are actively involved and it is not passive teaching that you are teaching and they are just listening to you, they will learn better. If it's interactive and it's not receptive, they will learn better. If you are relating their learning, new learning to their previous learning, like I just gave you the example of that animals thing. I already know about some things. You ask me to. What if I know about a lion and then again you're teaching me about a lion? I am not interested. I get bored. So understand and relate it to their previous learning. Okay, I taught you about the leopard. You knew about the lion. I taught you about the leopard. Now we are going to go to the hyena. We're going to take it forward to a new animal. Okay. Then experiences has to be a regular feature. If whatever you're teaching, they're not experiencing it. Prayog. If they're not applying it, if they're, it's not helping them experience the joy of learning or relating that concept to their real life, it doesn't make any sense. Transmission of information through hands-on learning and retention. I, am I retaining what I'm learning? Like today I am giving you all these gyan on lesson plan. Tomorrow I'll ask you, you'll say, Achha, pata nahi, I don't know. So that is why learn. If you have done something or you, you uh, attended a workshop, go ahead, implement it, see. Design your lesson plan. See where you're facing a difficulty. What did you actually understand and where do you need help? If you need help, come back to us. We are here only. We're not going anywhere. Seriously. So, these are the little bit of an explanation of what we have already discussed. That your lesson plan should have a concept name. Of course, what concept they are doing for the day for that subject, you have to have the aims and objectives, how to achieve those objectives, what material to use, what methodology to use, what recapitulation exercises you will use to for retention of knowledge. This I was taught that when I did it, I retained the information and the knowledge. And then how do you evaluate? Any questions till now? I'm stopping again. Put it in the uh, chat box or if you've understood, let's put a yes and a thumbs up. Yeah. 
So we know we can go ahead. Yes. Otherwise, I'll keep going ahead and you will be left somewhere behind. I don't want that to happen. So yeses and thumbs up, ma'am. So, so A lot of yeses and thumbs up. So nice. So you people have understood well. Very good. You can clap for yourself. Put, a lot of yeses. Yes. This, is, this is a whooping yes. Whooping. Ah, you can yes. <laughs> Give a pat on your back and say, yay, I've done it. I've understood everything till now. Very good. I have like 400 yeses now. <laughs> yeah. So this is a sense of achievement, no? Absolutely. Now, now when you have this, we have sub push defined karke rakh liya humne. Okay? Activities and everything now we have. So what is very important according to NCF 2022 is that activities should have differentiated approach. Did, didn't I tell you this? All learners will learn differently. No two child learns the same way. They all learn differently with different activities. So here is an example that is given in NCF document. I've just copy pasted it. It's made now I've not used any intelligence. It's just I took, a, took the copy from there and pasted it here. So you can just read it. You can read it in NCF also, right? That if you're playing with blocks, now your activity is playing with blocks to develop fine motor skills, to understand colors, to understand size, to understand measurement, kitna bada block hai, to say the shapes of the blocks, the colors of the blocks, or whether it is like only stacking to make a tower, that is eye-hand coordination, development of fine motor skills, whatever your learning objective is, which you have defined earlier. And this is the activity that you're doing. Very simply said, you can define, uh, divide these activities in various ways. You will get everything to know. Now, see, uh, some children are building towers. Some are counting how many blocks in a tower. Numeracy is happening. Some are saying which colors they have used. Understanding of colors and creativity is coming or aesthetic sense is coming into play. Conceptual learning of names of colors is coming into play. Some children can, I, I'll be asked to identify the blocks of the same color or compare blocks of different sizes and colors. See how many, how many things you've covered in the, in such single class, right? Numeracy you've covered, you've covered conceptual understanding, you've covered fine motor skills, eye-hand coordination. So many things you've covered in one class because one activity, there were differentiators that you had given for individualized learning. And then other children, they were creative or making something and constructing something with the blocks. And you go and ask them, what are they making? This is how you have to have each activity planned in different ways. Okay. What is the teacher responsibility according to NCF? From teacher responsibility, you have to come to the student responsibility. That's the role of the education system today. But that's the role for the, all the teachers here. That from you, me, my teacher, I am teaching, I know everything. From there, you have to go to the student responsibility. That means first you can model, you can demonstrate, you can explain. Okay. Then it is like I do it and you watch it. Second, what would be? We do it together. Third would be the guided practice. That you do it, I'll watch and guide you. I'm here standing at a distance. I'm there. But I'm not going to interfere with your learning. I have shown you what to do. We've done it together. Now you do. And from there to independent practices that you can do it alone. You don't even need my guidance. That means guided practice is also over. A teacher has to be the happiest. According to Maria Montessori also, when the children actually are learning or doing an activity as if the teacher does not exist. Get it? So you're all going to promise to follow this. From the teacher responsibility, it has to go to the student responsibility. Okay, this is also yes, an NCF. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> This is also an NCF. So though all those who have said ki ha, I, I, we have read NCF, yes, padha tha? Yes or no? Bolo. Ha, padha tha ye. Ha, padha tha yes. kya panch? Panch koshas, panchari, from teachers. Some say yes, some says no. <laughs> Nahin padha tha. Chalo, koi baat ne. So, aaj padh liya. At least, better late than never. Now, we put a NCF ka document, I have copied and I have not done anything. 
So Himani is going to tell me, ma'am, आपको बुलाया क्यों था? इनसे अब तो हमें ही पढ़ा देते थे. I have the document with me. No, it is very uh, very very important to understand the context of NCF because a document cannot tell you that. Yeah, you have very very importantly understand these things that I'm telling you. Government of India and the Education Ministry has given us a guideline that every curriculum has to be aligned to NEP 2020 and has to follow NCF 2022. That's why this lesson planning session I'm taking all according to NCF 22 because this is the future and this is mandate. You will have to do it like this. So whatever curriculum your school was following and whatever lesson plans you were doing earlier, or I will even I was doing, I cannot continue with this. I have to align it to NCF. Okay. So NCF says that classrooms for young children are very vibrant and full of life. Do you all agree? There are lots of ways of talking, noise, singing, dancing, running, jumping, all the time. And what we are do to the children, we tell them, Shh, sit down quietly. Sit down quietly. So what? Why? Why? How would they sit down quietly? They cannot. That's not their age. So NCF has told you to include certain things in your curriculum that's going to help the children to learn and for the teacher to. Deliver their concepts and lessons much better. So, what are the things that you're going to include in your lesson plans? First is conversation. Conversations are of two kinds: pre-conversations and structured conversations. Pre-conversation is not like "jo marzi bolte ro." Aise nahi. Pre-conversations is that if you are talking to a child, each each and everybody will share their thoughts and their experiences. And it's like a free conversation. Structured conversation is when I'm going to converse to you about a concept that you, I'm teaching you, or you've done it in the earlier class. Suppose in the environmental studies class, you've done a concept on birds. So I'm going to converse to you about birds in a structured manner, okay, to try to understand your learning. Conversations are of two kinds. Then there is storytelling, which is a must in every curriculum. All concepts can be taught very easily if it begins with a story. Then this toy-based learning. Yeah, तो मैं रोक गई. Now answers. चलो. What is toy-based learning? There's a whole document on this. Toy-based learning is very important. Toy Using some models, puppet show, puppets. Yeah. Teaching But aids. But when we children are playing Play. with toys, we all get upset. We say, "Kya kids are doing? Khelte rehte ho? Why you do want toys?" Even in class, the teachers are very upset when children want toys. And here NCF is saying you have to have toy-based learning. So all of you who are right now attending the session, please go and research on this. There's a whole document on toy-based learning. It is very important. Toys play a major, major role in uh, learning. For early uh, in, during the early years, for early childhood education, they play a very important role. So whether the child is manipulating a toy, solving a puzzle, stacking, beading, whatever they are doing, there's immense amount of learning that's happening. So toys plays a very very important role. What kind of toys you are keeping in your class is also very important. Educational toys, what is are they age appropriate? Are they child safe? Do they have edges and corners? Are they of good quality? It's not necessary that you have many toys. It's necessary to have the right toys. Okay, and even if you can't make, uh, you know, create, uh, buy them, you don't have resources. You can make them very easily. Yeah. Then there should be songs and rhymes in your curriculum and lesson plans. You'd have music and movement. Now somebody has to tell me how songs and rhymes and music and movement are two different things. Why is NCF written it two in the two different formats? What is songs and rhymes and what is music and movement? They're the same, no? Are they same or are they different? Yeah. Songs and rhymes, music and movement. Same. Are they different. same or are they different? Different. How? 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 Hows and whys are very important for me. So you'll just give me an answer, and I'll not take it. You'll have to tell me how. One is verbal. One is physical. But आप तो rhymes कराते हो बच्चों को तो actions कराते हो साथ में. 
songs and rhymes are story based music and movement can be any game songs and rhymes are story based hmm. acha okay music and movement in rhymes contain concept hmm songs and rhyme action based flowing very quickly <laughs> a lot of answers <laughs> a lot of answers okay i have lost Fine. track of them very good now uh so you uh, you all know the song uh, himani what if they all unmute themselves and talk together not possible no no that is possible i can unmute everybody can yeah. can all of you sing the song of i'm happy and you know it ye to sabko aata hoga that is why i'm taking this song you all okay. know the song everybody can unmute yeah, yes Shridina, you will also have to unmute. You will have to unmute. I am in my club. 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 Happy and you know, and you know it. Clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Next one. No, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, happy and you know, happy and you know, clap your feet. Clap your feet. All right. Thank you. No, it's time to stop here. Say hello. Yay! We're happy good. and we say it, and really want to show it. We're happy and we say it. We say hello. Say hello. Yes, Himani. Okay, we'll go back to the class. <laughs> we'll go back to the class. Okay. Uh, Can so you have to unmute once again. All right. Very good. Well done. So now, was that a song or a rhyme? क्या सा क्वेश्चन है सॉन्ग सॉन्ग ओके नॉट अ राइम सॉन्ग सॉन्ग समबडी सेड जस्ट राइम सम सम से सॉन्ग सम से नहीं अ लॉट ऑफ राइम्स अ लॉट ऑफ राइम्स ओके सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ सॉन्ग एंड अ राइम भैया आगे ही नहीं बढ़ने वाले हम लोग व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ सॉन्ग एंड अ राइम ओके टीचर्स एंड माय फेलो एजुकेटर्स वी ऑल हैव टू रिसर्च ऑन ऑल ऑफ दिस Why do we call something songs and something rhymes? Why do we call something music and something movements? All of this are interconnected. But you know what? I also have been teaching since so many years without knowing the differences between these two. So we used to just okay, ठीक है ये rhyme कराना है बच्चों को class में हाँ we will do it. यार ये song कराना है we'll do it. This is a music and movement class. अच्छा इसमें music and movement हो रहा है. What I'm playing a music like specifically that birdie song. नहीं 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 है ना उसके साथ मूवमेंट हो रहा है तो Mm-hmm. yeah it is a this is a song of a pandemic that happened a, a, you know centuries ago what does that say you know we all fall dead 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 it is like uh, a dead song what about jack and jill what about twinkle twinkle little star humne kabhi research nahi kiya we are just continuing with it If you actually go to know, found the find the foundations of these songs, sir, you will realize that in the Western countries, because of the World War II, because of the epidemic and everything, to keep the children this thing uh, away from all of that, these kind of songs were created, and also they were singing these songs, and they are they are depressing songs, and they mean something completely different from what we tell. And we also nursery songs, sir, and bacha. पूछा पूछा आ रहा छोटा सा बच्चा टू ईयर ओल्ड प्ले स्कूल में तो इज कमिंग टू द क्लास एंड वी टीचिंग देम ऑल दीज डिप्रेसिंग सॉन्ग्स एंड देन वी टेलिंग देम टू सिंग ऑल्सो व्हाट इज द सॉन्ग अबाउट जैक एंड जेल उसका मीनिंग क्या है जैक फेल डाउन 
मतलब उसका सर फूट गया जिल भी केम टम्बलिंग आफ्टर वो भी गिर गई ओके सर्च ऑन हमटी डमटी दैट्स अ वर्ल्ड वॉर सॉन्ग हमटी डमटी वॉज अ कैनन तो पोते है ना गोला फेंकने वाला वो था ऑन द वॉल ऑल द किंग्स हॉर्सेस एंड ऑल द किंग्स मेन कौन से किंग्स हॉर्सेस एंड मेन नंबर इट शोज एन एग हा बिकॉज इट वॉज द गोला कैनन वाला इसको पता नहीं कहां से हमने एग बना लिया earlier go to the earlier things and research on this it was actually a cannon which was used in a world war which used to kill many people because it was very big and once it fell down all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put it humpty together again wapas wo wall pe nahi chada this is the actually meaning of it imagine it used to kill people no humpty dumpty was not an egg It was not uh, a person. It was not a cartoon character who fell down. It was not. He saw it as an egg also only, and we yeah. when it fell down, it broke, so nobody could put it together. Yes, it was an egg. Exactly. So that is why we have to. So if it was an egg, we would not need all the king's horses and all the king's men. We would need children only to see that, right? Think about all of that. Hello, how are you? Himani, you'll have to keep telling me, huh? Otherwise, I'll get. Uh, I, this this is the next thing I was about to say. <laughs> that, you'll, you'll, uh, I'll get carried away. You'll have to keep reminding me. Art and craft is the next thing in NCF. Indoor games, outdoor games, spending time in and with nature, and lastly, field trips. For that, real world connection and that application. When the children go out and they see what they have learned, you to show them dairy products. you teach them about the poultry farm you show them the journey of the milk take them to a supermarket and show them that see this is what it is all the dairy products see them and understand them examples of progression i was talking to you about the learning outcomes to be across the grades how do you define it so these are this is just a reference this is just an example you people can do much better and you can do it for yourself english when you say In play school, identifies letter. If a child can say this is A and this is B, I'm very happy about it, right? But in nursery, even if they identify the letter, yes, that is one of the thing that will continue because it's from the previous level. The connection is to the previous learning, and then they will also know the letter sounds. Letter sounds would how would they know it? They would know A says A, A for apple. This connection is built in nursery, but in junior KG, what happens? the again the previous learning is continuing they are associating letters with sound but they are blending to read words the family words like we call it at words add words in words right and in senior kg they are reading words and sentences similarly in math now just play school they are just counting objects but in nursery i can correspond objects to the numbers that is one and one correspondence that i can if you tell me to give me five crayons am i able to count five and give you the five crayons okay mostly you will see children skipping the numbers junior mm -hmm. kg they are putting two group of objects together to add okay two and one more is three and senior kg this is it so it's all fit objects only there are no numbers involved here i am telling you that you using concrete resources play way method you giving them sub objects you giving them toys you giving them crayons anything that you giving them this is what is happening these are your learning outcomes similarly others also you can take a screenshot you can take a picture if you want to i'm not getting into the all the learning outcomes here right now want to take a picture go ahead this will stay as an example for you how to plan we had discussed about this how to plan now i was this question was not answered because we had answered why planning we had told the what to plan ha huh, what to plan how, how to plan is coming now First is there is a very simple way you use the five E's. The five E's is the first part of your planning should be engaging the learners. The second one would be allowing them to explore. Third is when the teacher is explaining. Fourth is when you extend their knowledge beyond the classroom. And fifth is when you evaluate how successful you were and how successful have they been in getting the concept. So these are the five E's. then we have the five a's the same thing different names that you aim for something that's your objective 
you decide the aids to with which you will be doing that uh, you know achieving that aim with what activities your action that is your explanation and teaching application by the students and then the analysis this is again how to plan me what are the i have already shown you this this is the parts of your lesson plan the core thing starts with the topic or the concept subtopic or skill that you want to achieve learning outcomes related to that teaching learning materials recapitulation and observation now what to plan again now this is you see some abbreviations here has any one of you ever heard of all of this from someone's request to explain the five e's again five e's engage that is introduction how do you engage the learner see these five e's are also related to the pedagogy that ncf is suggesting introduction engaging that you are engaging the learner grab their attentions exploring that when the children are you are getting to know what how much do they know beforehand they are exploring the subject you give allow them time to explore that concept and whatever you are going to teach then you explain that is guided teaching then you explain them of what you want them to learn then you extend their knowledge beyond the classroom that is your field trips and your real life experience application okay prayog then you evaluate and assess whether they have actually understood and you have achieved the learning objective that you set out to okay clear can we confirm on the chat box please if we can maybe you can just ask the person who had asked for a uh, explanation again yes 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 ma'am it's clear we can move ahead ma'am uh, uh -huh. also they have requested for five ways also if we can do this also once again same thing here only different terminology that's it aim your learning objective and teaching objective what are you are planning to do okay aids what aids do you need you need your curriculum lesson plan and you need your activities and you need the teaching learning aids according to that so what all these things combined together makes the aid the aids ke baad it comes the actions the action is your action and the children's action teaching and learning happening in the class okay then they apply their knowledge whatever you have taught them and then you analyze whether it were it has worked it has not worked have they understood the concept yes ma'am thank you very good cool. thank you now when we come to this this is something a little higher order in lesson planning till now whatever we were doing were all interlinked and it was related to one another this is a higher order lesson planning okay we will talk about this in the next session because it takes a lot of time i was about to say that <laughs> i also know i know himani's face i was seeing it okay because according this will not help otherwise till the time i do not do an activity with you see this is the activity and this is a blank here and that was what so the paper and pen was to for you people to write all of this and i'm not i mean it dikha rahi ye sab dikhai nahi rahe mai activity wagaira kuch bhi because this will take time and i want a proper time to be given proper time to be given right लेसन प्लान का भी नेक्स्ट थिंग ये समझ लो कि लेसन प्लानिंग कैन बी फॉर्मल एंड इट कैन बी इनफॉर्मल वट आर दीचर्स ऑफ फॉर्मल लेसन प्लान इट्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड लेसन प्लान विद इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन विद वॉट द टीचर इज गोइंग टू से वॉट द चिल्ड्रेन आर गोइंग टू डू वॉट द टीचर इज गोइंग टू से अगेन द टीचर इंकरेज द लर्नर्स द टीचर क्लास फॉर द लर्नर्स इतना सब कुछ भी लिखा होता है ओके दैट्स अ फॉर्मल लेसन प्लान एंड इट अ टीचर सेंट्रिक वॉट द टीचर हैज टू डू एवरीथिंग इज गिवन देर एंड द टीचर डज जस्ट दैट it is assessment driven at the end the teacher has to make sure that that assessment is done and the, all the children are achieving that and it is theory based but whereas the informal lesson plan will be unstructured in what way aisa nahi ki usme planning nahi hoti hai to fir lesson plan kyu hua no it has a plan it is unstructured in the way that everything is not written down probably in a class when the teacher enters the children are in a different mood you'll have to see where it is going it is child centric so you plan for a concept of animals of course you will do the animal concept only of course you will have a plan for that but like i said you will ask, start asking the children from what the children know then you will go forward it is not that following what is written okay 
it is outcome driven that outcome learning outcome that you are deciding for the children you focus more on that and it is experiential and it is hands on uh, you know focus on that is inquiry based learning project based learning that reggio amelia does that iv schools does is like that okay it takes from the children these are the approaches that we know picture picture i'm not going to get into all of this you already know about these approaches these are the that these are the approaches that i want you to do research on for your lesson planning and curriculum planning because these are going to help you in the future there's a low uh, lower order thinking and there's a higher order thinking hots and lots if you do not know that's another session but these are the approaches that we know and these are higher order thinking okay take a picture or note it down How do we define success? How do we would we know that you know if you are successful in a lesson plan? Not only evaluation that you said in the beginning. If you want to know for yourself, then your success would be for the S. It would be a success if you use story based approach. It would be a success if you use a unique child approach, which is here for saying differentiated learning activities. It will be a success if you use a constructivist approach. which is contextual in nature now suppose here in mumbai i am teaching somebody about a polar bear and a penguin that they are not going to see throughout their lives they will not relate to it it is in iceland and arctic that they see that but if here if i am telling them about things that they see around here in their country in their state in their city they would relate to it it has to be contextual and understanding if here i will tell i am teaching about family and i am talking to them about foster families they will not know I but new, new york children would know foster families if here i am talking about a godfather or a godmother they don't know but there they would know so i can't talk to them about a family in that way it has to be contextual okay it has to be child centric if you take that approach you will be successful if you take an eclectic approach like all the approaches that i showed you in the previous two slides it has to be a mix it has to be an amalgamation of all those approaches the best ones out of that what are the features of this one what is the uniqueness of this one this i'll take this i'll take but this i'll take in my environmental studies this i'll take in my language this i'll take in my physical education and here montessori i'll take when they are going to do uh, a lot of approaches where they are going to be responsible then i'm going to use that equipment everything you can use but you have to use it wisely and logically if you take a simplistic approach don't complicate your process for learning you can complicate your process of thinking you can complicate your process of coming to a particular plan but don't complicate the process of learning for the children keep it very simple simple language simple songs simple words that they understand and they learn fast and you have to have a scientific approach that is logical think critically understand it know what you are doing know why you are doing why very important okay and next time we can do lot of the other things thank you and i am done and imani would say then again you are late i am always late thank you so much ma'am in while we were on last parts i have got so many uh, thank yous for the wonderful session people have thanked not only you but also madhuban for organizing and having foundations as one of the <laughs> communities for this and uh, they have really this time i i even you agree with me they were hmm. participating like anything i i and I, I, I always love that himani ye me kaise share karu ha khat theek hai thank you so much Huh. it was amazing the way they were uh, participating even now you know the messages are going as though i'm scrolling up they're going that <laughs> fast it's difficult for me to keep a track love you so much ma'am this i love you for you too <laughs> i love you too please i love all of you so much you know it's only interacting with you people and coming here is something that really keeps me going otherwise i have have office till 5 pm baba himani keeps the sessions at 5 pm i rush from the office i come here then himani calls me at 4:55 ma'am where are you i say i'm coming i'm coming i'm online i'm coming it's just because <laughs> that i love to interact with all of you and i love to see your faces and your interactions in the chat box you people are just amazing that's true that's true this is an amazing group of teachers and educators and their enthusiasm is so much i love this session myself thank you so much smriti ma'am for thank doing you. all these sessions for us and like you said 
just before ending your day, you know, after a full day of work, doing another session, I, I can imagine. And I, I can but this is something that's work. This is something that I love <laughs> and I enjoy. So I love this. So you people, please take care of yourselves. And uh, first session curriculum planning, any questions regarding that also, please get in touch with Himani. We are all there. We can answer. Yes. If you implement something and it doesn't help you or you get stuck somewhere or you think that this is some is you want to double surety, but this is what Smriti Mahmoud said. This is what we had to do. Please come back to us. Okay. Yes, please I do. don't want your learning. Yes. I don't want your learning to be a one day affair. And that is why Himani has and Madhuban has actually planned the, these series of things. Because like right now, I told you there's so many things more left at next session. Huh? Next, next session. session. Definitely done. Thank you so much, yeah. Smriti ma'am. And thank for all so the much. educators, thank you so much. Uh, yes, teachers, I will share the slides, whichever you're saying. I'll take screenshots and I'll share it in the group. Don't worry about that. And uh, also, any teacher who has a challenge in filling the feedback form, today I'm going to stay here and we'll do it next 10 minutes. I'm going to fill a few feedback forms for you so that you can see and you can understand maybe there is one step that you're missing out because of which you are not getting the uh, certificate. Ideally, the moment you fill your feedback form, it, it should send you the feedback, uh, your certificate within 10 to 15 minutes. So here I have come to Google and I'm opening this link. So the link that I have shared in the chat box as well, it should open here, right? It will open here. Now, may I request any one of you, if you can share your contact number and email ID with me, but you'll have to be very active then. Uh, teachers who don't have any issues, you can please leave. Thank you so much for joining us here. And uh, teachers who face difficulty in filling the feedback forms and getting the certificates, I would like to take a little moment and do it with you. Okay, I've received for Komal ma'am. Komal ma'am, I'm putting it for you. Nine, eight, seven, three. Okay, Komal ma'am, your email ID, oh, sorry, it's already there. See, you've already registered. So the feedback, your email ID is there. You say submit. Komal ma'am, you must have received an OTP on your uh, phone number. Could you please share the OTP? Komal ma'am. Ma okay. We verify the OTP and the form opens. Now, this is the complete form. Since if you've already filled it up, it will be already filled. Like her name is already there and her details are there. I'm going to fill her designation. Komal ma'am, your designation is a teacher. And which class are you teaching? I'll need a couple of details. Subjects in class. Six, seven, eight, ten. Which subject, ma'am? Okay. regional language okay and then we go here it's like india ma'am your school also school and state yes i'm sharing the link again hold, hold. i'm just sharing it again komal ma'am your school name and city green fingers local school uh, if your school name is not showing, all right, teachers, I'm here. If your school name is not showing, see, there's a little red line here which says add new school. The moment I take my cursor there, it kind of makes a hand. So you can click on this and you can add your school here. You can add your school details here. Okay. So I'll just check if I have ma'am school here. Uh, Navi Mumbai. Maharashtra. Mumbai. Okay, ma'am. I so I don't have ma'am school also here. So I'm going to add the school. Ma'am said green ma'am. This is a CBSE school. This is local school. So I'm adding the, uh, the new school here, okay? So if your school's name is not there, you can just add it. There's a column there, like I'm adding.
Ma'am, do you know the pin code where your school is? I am sharing the link again. Four one zero two one zero. Okay, so I've added these details and ma'am said, I'm teaching. Okay, now you give me the feedback for the event. I'm going to put a four star on all of these. Okay. And you say submit. Okay. Thank you so much. Now you receive the stream. Come on ma'am, you can please check your email ID. You would have received your certificate. If you'll just check your email ID, you would have received your certificate. Anyone else would like me to uh, fill in for their on their behalf? Anyone who's thank you, Shivali, ma'am. That's so sweet. I'm so happy. Yes. So Komal ma'am has also received feedback from Tiba ma'am. Could you share your details? I'll fill it for you. I'll just fill it for you here. Pratibha ma'am, just give me your mobile number. Thank you, Goma ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you Sanju ma'am, you have to fill in your aapko apna ye feedback dalna padega. Tab aapko certificate milega, jaise main abhi dal rahi hoon. Ye dekhe, main aapko ek link bhej rahi hoon. Main aapko group mein bhi bhejungi. I'm not able to answer question. Koi baat nahi bilaane ka. Ma'am, ab thodi deir ke baad agar dobara try karenge. Kahi baari internet connectivity ki wajah se bhi nahi ham kar paate. You're already using a lot of internet on your video call. Maybe that is one reason. Bama ma'am, aapne feedback form fill kar diya. Ms. Bama. Mitra Kavi at gmail.com. Aapne feedback form fill kar diya aapka. Surjit ma'am, agar school ka naam nahi show kar raha. I'll share it on the WhatsApp group of Sheena. Pratibha ma'am, aapne pa number share kar diya. Ma'am, aapne email ID bhi bataiye, Pratibha ma'am, please. You're not added in the group. For people who are not added in the group, can you please drop me a message at this number? Just drop me a message at this number. I've shared my number. Alpna, ma'am, you, uh, agar aapne fill kiya hai feedback form, not the registration form, ma'am. The feedback form. Then you would get the Yes, Shivali ma'am ko bhi mil gaya. Then you would have got the certificate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Pratibha ma'am, I just got your number. Could I please get your email ID also? Agar koi group mein nahi hai, I'm sharing my number. Please drop me a message on this. I will add you to the group. The same Alpna ma'am, the one that I'm showing here. Yes, you can use a different email ID and fill the... Uh, can I submit the feedback form again with different email ID as a well? You can, you can. Everybody, a core problem kya hoti hai that uh, you fill in the feedback form, but uh, since agar aapka email ID full hai, kai bar humari email ID is full hoti hai, agar aapka email ID full hai, to mail bounce back ho jati hai aur aapko aapka certificate nahi milta. So please give us an email ID here which has all, which is, which can accept uh, which can accept your emails. And also check that there should be no space anywhere. I'm getting so many messages. Ma'am, I won't be able to fill the feedback form for all of you. I can't, I can't fill it for all of you. It's not possible, right? So, hang on, hang on. I won't be able to fill it for everybody. I'm filling Surjit ma'am's uh, feedback form. Please watch it carefully. So I have put in the, I'm putting her phone number here. I can't fill it for 300 people. I can only show you with some teachers. So if I'm up in number pick email, I have what OTP I have a piece. Please. 
यू फिल इन द फीडबैक फॉर्म आप फीडबैक फॉर्म भरेंगे तो रजिस्ट्रेशन नहीं रजिस्ट्रेशन आपको ऑलरेडी हो चुका होगा आई एम ओके विद इट बट आप जब तक फीडबैक नहीं भरेंगे तब तक आपको नीचे जो स्टार्स हैं वो स्टार्स में फीडबैक नहीं भरेंगे तब तक आपको सर्टिफिकेट uh, नहीं मिलेगा अगर आप यहाँ पे अपना नंबर और ईमेल आईडी शेयर कर रहे हैं आई कैन नॉट आई कैन नॉट फिल इट फॉर एवरीबडी मैं आपको कुछ लोगों का सुरजीत मैम अगर आप हैं तो प्लीज एक ओ आपके नंबर पे आया होगा कैन यू प्लीज शेयर इट पद्मा प्रिय मैम इट्स ओके यू प्लीज यू कैन वेट फॉर आफ्टर कॉल इस कॉल के बाद आप ट्राई कीजिएगा फिल करना कई बार इंटरनेट का कनेक्टिविटी स्लो होगा इसलिए आप आगे फॉर्म नहीं फिल कर पा रहे हैं सुजीत मैम डेजिग्नेशन और आपके स्कूल uh, का एड्रेस कौन सा सब्जेक्ट पढ़ाते हैं आप I will निधि मैम आई विल शेयर हियर इज दिंक अगैन फॉर द फीडबैक फॉर्म इट्स ओके इफ यू कॉन्ट फील एनी थिंग दट प्रॉबली बिकॉज द इंटरनेट इज स्लो बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी ऑन अ वीडियो कॉल येस श्रुति मैम यूल हैव टू डू इट अल लेटर आफ्ट नाउ बिकॉज इफ द इंटरनेट इज स्लो यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू फिल दिस इट विल नॉट टेक टाइम येस प्लीज ट्राई इट आफ्टर सम टाइम एंड दोज हु आर नॉट एडेड इन द ग्रुप प्लीज सेंड मी अ मैसेज ऑन दिस नंबर वील एड इन टू द ग्रुप सुरजीत मैम आई एम स्टिल वेटिंग फॉर डिटेल वॉट सब्जेक्ट यू टीच सुरजीत Okay, and ma'am, where is your school? Thank you so much. Karkar Duma, ma'am, Karkar Duma is Delhi, I believe. Thank you so much, Prithvi Chama. He was going to teach me how to dance. So, Jitna, this is in Delhi, right? पिन कोड मैम कुछ प्लीज या था पिन कोड सुरजीत मैम
Shikila Saraswati, ma'am, please uh, write me here. Let me just check. Surjit, ma'am, it's done for you. Ma'am, there is only one AOTP, not she and shake. There's only one OTP. It's okay. Even if you've received it on your mail, it's fine. Just use that. Ma'am, uh, for teachers in, in, the, in cases where you're receiving uh, your school's name in place of your name, they're probably in the first column. For example, if I, if I put mine. Yeah. So if I put my, if my name is here, in here, in place of name, in place of Himani, if I put the school's name, only in that event, because this is automated, not somebody is not doing it, somebody is not picking your, uh, manually, this is an automated system, it will pick the name that is given here. So in any case, by mistake, if you put in your school's name here, that is why it will give the certificate in your school's name. Right. So uh, that is why. SVGV Prashanti ma'am, it is a problem. Just try and fill the feedback form once again and just change the name here. It will change it. Okay, if you're still not able to do it, you can write to me here. Just try it once though. Okay, I think I've shown everybody a couple of certificates that I've tried and done. Please. Uh, Zayomi two double two triple one three one seven. Uh, please add your name. If your school is not uh, existing, it's not showing in the school name list. See this red point here. Sita, you can unmute. Uh, hi, Mani. Thanks for such wonderful session. And uh, uh, I'm also here with you for the uh, for the those who are not able to receive the certificate and struggle. Mostly, I can see the school name is not reflecting is a big issue. So I just wanted to doubly check with you: is this because they are not our user schools? That's why oh, we no. need to. No, no. We uh, we have a database, so some basic school names are already there. अगर किसी का फिर भी स्कूल नेम नहीं आता ना तो ये रहा ये देखिए एड्स न्यू स्कूल का ऑप्शन आ रहा है यहाँ पे राइट 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 आप इस पे क्लिक करेंगे तो नीचे ये देखिए आप यहाँ पे अपना स्कूल ऐड कर सकते हैं स्कूल नेम राइट सो यू विल बी एबल टू ऐड योर स्कूल नेम हियर इन केस इट डजेंट एग्जिस्ट एंड फॉर इंटरनेशनल टीचर्स ज्वाइन फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द ग्लो डिट गेट दर्टिफिकेट वेन यूल गेट इट प्रकृति मैम यूल गेट इट ऑन योर ई मेल तो आपने ईमेल यहाँ डाला होगा रजिस्टर करते हुए फीडबैक डालते हुए वहां पे आपको मिलेगा टीचर्स यू हैव टू फिल दिस दिस इज नॉट द सेम फॉर्म एज अ रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म सी इट हैज अ फीडबैक एट द एंड हियर सो यू हैव टू फिल इन दी स्टार्स द स्टार फीडबैक्स एंड सबमिट ओनली देन विल यू रिसीव द सर्टिफिकेट प्लीज मेक श्योर की आपके जो वो है आपका ईमेल आईडी है जो आपने दिया है इट इज वर्किंग एंड वो फुल नहीं है हमने पीछे कुछ चेक किए हैं All right, Nasheen Sheikh. आपका फिर भी Nasheen मैम नहीं आया. But still, I did. Did you get the final thumbs up screen that uh, it's it's done? Teachers who have already got received the certificate, can you please just drop out of the session so I know only the teachers who are facing a difficulty are there. If you've received your feedback form, thank you so much. Please drop out. It'll help me. All the teachers who've already received their feedback forms, can you please drop out? That will help me a lot. Thank you so much. everyone all the teachers who have received their feedback forms could you please drop out of the session
All right, a lot of teachers I'm seeing who have issues are not even able to hear me. That is why they're not able to follow the instructions. Maybe you can just add the school. Sarika ma'am, if it is not there, click on this red tab. It will help you add the school, add new school. Padma Priya ma'am, like I said, please leave this meeting and try it after a little while with a good, uh, with a better connectivity. Subject, what subject do you teach, Ankita ma'am? What are the subjects that you teach? So what are your teaching subjects? If you teach English, if you teach maths, link. Link, how will you get? Uh, drop me a message here, I'll share the link. Everybody, you can unmute yourself, but please try and unmute one at a time. Yes, I'll share Neha, I'll share the recording of the session with you. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. yes. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Nasheen, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Ma'am, I have filled uh, the form and uh, I have uh, even selected the subjects. I have selected the school name and uh, uh, like country, state, uh, like city, everything. Mm -hmm. Then even uh, and at the end of the form, I have sub uh, submitted the, with the stars also. But mm -hmm. I, will, I have only received the OTP. Uh, I didn't receive the certificate still, ma'am. You received the OTP on your email? Yeah, ma'am. But the certificate's not come. No, it ha it didn't come. Okay, can you send me your email ID in the WhatsApp? I just shared my number. You can write it down also. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, you have my number? No, ma'am, I don't have. Uh, 8146? Just a second. I'll just note it down. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Yeah, ma'am, yes. please tell me your number. 8146? Eight one four six. Eight six. Eight six. Seven double eight five. Seven double eight five. Five. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Somebody else was talking. Uh, yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Actually, evening. I filled all the things, but uh, didn't get the certificate, now, ma'am. Ma'am, did the screenshot? Okay. Okay. Thumbs up, wala screenshot, I have end me. उस स्क्रीनशॉट के साथ मुझे मेरे नंबर पे प्लीज मैसेज भेज दीजिए आपने जो फिल किया उसके बाद एक स्क्रीनशॉट आया होगा जिन्होंने भी फिल कर दिया है और उसके बाद भी आपको सर्टिफिकेट नहीं मिला है मुझे वो थम्स अप वाला स्क्रीनशॉट आपका ईमेल आईडी के साथ प्लीज सेंड मी अ मैसेज आई विल गेट इट चेक फ्रॉम आईटी टीचर्स इफ यू आर सेंडिंग मी योर डिटेल्स हियर आई कांट सेंड यू अ डायरेक्ट टिल यू फिल द फीडबैक फॉर्म आई कांट सेंड यू अ डायरेक्ट सर्टिफिकेट उसमे एक बार स्पैम वाला ऑप्शन भी चेक कीजिएगा दोबारा नहीं कर सकते क्या अपने नाम की जगह स्कूल का नाम एंटर कर दिया गलती से तो अपने नाम की जगह स्कूल का नाम एंटर कर दिया तो उसके उस पे आ गया सर्टिफिकेट वो तो दोबारा अब नहीं हो रहा है एक कोई और नंबर से कर दीजिए कोई और नंबर ट्राई किया ना मैंने तो ना उसको सिलेक्ट का नहीं आ रहा है घर में किसी और का नंबर देख कर दीजिए हाँ करिए करा है ना मैंने बट मैम मैं नहीं।, नहीं कर रहा है मेरे पास कौन सा आपके हाँ बनते का हाँ थैंक गॉड ईमेल आई डी भी दूसरी डाल दो ईमेल दोनों किया मैंने दोनों किया उसके बाद भी नहीं हो रहा है ओ वगैरह सब आया कुछ नहीं हो रहा है 
मैम एक्सक्यूज मी फॉर्म सबमिट नहीं हो रहा मैम वो फॉर्म करेक्ट मिस यू मुझे ओटीपी आ गया है मेल में बट सर्टिफिकेट नहीं आया है व्हेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू गो एंड अगेन टू डू द री सबमिशन इट्स सेइंग द नंबर इज ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड सो इट्स नॉट अलाउइंग मी टू सो मैम कैन यू प्लीज शेयर मी योर नेम एंड ईमेल आईडी एंड आल्सो द स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड हां डिटेल्स Have you submitted the feedback form, sir? Feedback form, or any mail I didn't receive. The feedback form, see, I have put in the chat box. Me, dala hai. Chat box. Hello. Link dala hai. Is link pe click kijiye, sir. Hello. Just now. Oh, ma'am. हाँ जी हाँ जी सर अभी डाला देखिए दोबारा डाला अभी. Okay. Ma'am. जी. Ma'am. Ma'am, sorry. Ma'am, sorry to interrupt. वो screenshot आपको कहाँ भेजूँ मैं? मैम नंबर देखिए चैट बॉक्स में दो नंबर दिए किसी पे भी डाल देते हैं धन्यवाद जी कोई और भी मैम बुला रहा था मैम अगर न्यू नंबर एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहा तो कैसे करें मेरे नंबर पे भेज दीजिए आपको दो व्हाट्सएप नंबर वो चैट बॉक्स में शेयर किया किसी पे भी डाल दीजिए आप अपनी डिटेल शेयर कर दीजिए सकल के दिस नॉट सपने में आप काट दो फोन हेलो मैम जी हेलो मैम अल्पना मैम मैंने टू थ्री टाइम्स फिल किया बट वो ना थम्स अप वाला नहीं आ रहा है मैम आप ना अभी इस सेशन के थोड़ी देर के बाद की जगह कई बार ना आप वीडियो कॉल पे है ना अभी जूम पे डेढ़ घंटे से दो घंटा होने वाला हो गया तो नेट का कनेक्टिविटी पुअर हो जाता है उस वजह से नहीं हो रहा थोड़ी देर के बाद कॉपी दैट लिंक फिर मैं आपको ग्रुप में भी भेजूंगी आप ग्रुप में है हाँ यस मैम हाँ मैं ग्रुप में अभी मैम भेजूंगी थोड़ी देर ओके फाइन ओके And ma'am, please share your number also so that. Ma'am, chat box. Box. Pe hai, dekhe, chat box. Pe hai. Uh, is it seven eight two seven? Ma'am, two number hai. Dono mein se aap koi bhi le lijiye. Acha, uh, okay. Ma'am, Imani. Ma'am, okay. Ma'am, mujhe chat box dikhai nahi de raha, ma'am. Ma'am, eight one four six eight six. Ma'am, ek minute. Ma'am, 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 मैम आई विल फिल इट आफ्टर समाइम श्योर श्योर एब्सोलूटली प्रॉब्लम कैन आई शेयर दिस इन व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप यस मैम मेरे पर्स ये नंबर्स पे शेयर कर दीजिए ग्रुप में मत कीजिएगा प्लीज ओके ओके फाइन 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 ओके मैम ओके क्लास में जो लिंक आया था ना लिंक के लिए बोलो ना लिंक के लिए बोलो ना उसको मेरा भी दिखा तो रहा था यार चलिए अभी हम जा रहे हैं बाय बाय टेक केयर डायरेक्ट बोलो लिंक शेयर कर देगी ना हैव अ गुड इवनिंग वंदिका कैन वी एंड द सेशन प्लीज अरे दिखाओ यार <laughs>